Hello everyone, it's me again. Um, I'm gonna make this a quick, short video. I'm getting tired of being harassed on social media. It's happening on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google+. Fortunately, it has not ha happened on Instagram yet, but I'm sure it's coming. It seems like I'm a very big target on social media from quite a few people. I mean, I run a blog called Geek Alabama. I do a lot of event coverage of photos and pictures, but... I also do criticize politicians and powerful people here in locally in Aniston, in Alabama, and across the country. So, some people didn't like me supporting Doug Jones when the Democrat candidate for U.S. Senate, he was here in Aniston a few days ago. Um, I've criticized Trump. <laughs> I've criticized legislatures here in Alabama, city officials here in Aniston and Oxford. I've done it all. And now I've criticized way more. And I put up a little post saying that, you know, the sexual allegations come out. I put up a little gif of somebody dancing saying, hey, I'm glad this has come out because he's going to have to, he won't win now. And he'll go quietly back in his old hateful self that he's in. And I'm happy. But some people criticize it. And I guess that's how I expected, huh? I've been getting a lot of hate on social media. For example... On Twitter, I've had somebody say, Look, it's Pizza the Hut! Or, You look like the Pillsbury Doughboy with some, an extra chromosome. Yeah. I've had somebody go on my YouTube saying, Shut down Nathan, and proof that Nathan is a gay liberal racist who hates white people. <laughs> I've had another person on YouTube say, Are we still shocked all these geek websites are run by fat losers who are sexual deviants? Losers in high school and losers in life. <laughs> I've had somebody on Google Plus saying that, are you F in the head or something? What about the hateful Muslims? Do, do people not have a f right to be angry at citizens cutting their own throats, little shot and run over at night? <laughs> yeah. But a lot of hate's come from Facebook. And it's come from a certain few people. That seems like every time I post something controversial, they're always going to spawn and jump on me. For example, when I went to a trip to Toronto earlier this year, somebody said, go to Europe where retirements are still alive and well. Yeah. Uh, somebody, when I posted that Trump is threatening to take away my disability, social security disability food stamps, because I am a, I have a disability. I have autism and... You know, says nobody wants to hire me. You gotta have income to survive. Uh, some people said, there's a strong possibility you might have to find a job. Trump is so cruel. Or, man, that sucks. You might have to find a job or something. What would you do? And, are you gonna get a new job? <sighs> and then, because nobody wants to hire me and I've been posting things, somebody said this. Again, I'm asking, what's stopping you from being employed? I can almost assure you that we could go today and fill out applications. You'd be employed by this time next week. Might not be the most glorious job, but every fast food place in town has signs on the door saying to hire. You gotta start somewhere. All the jobs, most of the jobs I've had before I began on disability were fast food jobs, and I got fired from them. So go back for the sixth, seventh, eighth time. That's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna make things worse for me. So what's the point? And then I have someone said, someone trying to defend me says, Guys, stop asking Nathan to work. He's disabled and he's always tried to work before. I have read his blog on all the failed jobs and he agrees he needs to support. Maybe his contribution to society, he's a big of a reporter. Yes. Can't do that while you're trying to fry chicken. Yes. And then I had another person comment, Just curious as to what's stopping you. You're acting on social media and with your news of photography, I guess I'm a little confused at the whole given a chance thing. For that, I um, tweeted, there's a TV show called The Good Doctor on, on ABC that has an autistic doctor. If you haven't seen that show, please watch it. I tweeted, people with Asperger's autism would like me having really good ideas to make the world better. We need to be giving the chance. So, and, so, Dirty Banks hiring someone with autism. Sadly, there are many with autism as who are employed, like me. Yeah, there are a lot of people with autism and Asperger's who are unemployed. So, that just wants stopping me? Well, I've applied to a lot of places. For example, there was a job here in the town about a few weeks ago that was a marketing social media specialist. Somebody that has to do social media work and everything, which I'm good at, and do photography. And of course, I get the email saying, uh, thank you for your application, but we're not going to hire you. I get those all the time. 
So, yes, I've been trying to apply to places, and with Trump's budget threatening to axe disability and dis food stamps, yeah, I've been picking it up a little bit. Most likely, I'm going to have to say bye-bye to where I live at and move somewhere else. <sighs> so this leads us to the most point. I've got a lot of people who are supportive of what I do on social media. I've had people who share my presentations and they tweeted me back saying, wonderful presentation. I make some good presentations and stuff. I do also make some great videos, take some great photos, do great writing. And I have a lot of people who have thanked me on social media or in person saying that, thank you for what you do. Fortunately, they don't know of anyone who's hiring, so they can't do anything. And to sum things up, I'm going to start doing this. From, that, from this point on, if you harass me on social media, I am going to block you. And when I block you, I'm going to report your account to that site. So if I block your Facebook account, I'm going to report your Facebook account to Facebook for deletion. Same thing for Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Google+. Plus. Any social media platform I'm on and I get harassment. The harassment's getting old. I'm getting tired of being slammed on social media. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing because so many people don't agree with it. And they think, oh, he, this guy's disabled. We could, he's vulnerable. We could take advantage of him and slam him and send him hateful things online. I'm tired of it. It's going to stop now. And if I got to block people to send a message, I will do that. No more of this crazy stuff and this hateful stuff. Just keep sending me stuff, I log you. You're done. I will not have to worry about you ever again. And if you go to another social media site after I block you to try to slam me again, I'll block you from that site too. I've had to go to the police when people send me hateful stuff. And the police know, know this is going on. And it's going to stop. Because if it keeps on going and somebody keeps sending me hateful stuff, I'll have the police... Report and come get you. I guess that's what's got to be done now. So the moral of the story is, quit sending me hateful stuff. I'm tired of it. Thank you for watching.